Hey, thanks so much for checking out React for Beginners. My name is Wes Boss. This course is for anyone who wants to learn how to build React.js applications from scratch, as well as anyone who wants to level up on their JavaScript skills. If you've got any questions as to what this course is going to cover, make sure you check out reactforbeginners.com, and they've got a full listing of all the topics and videos that we're going to cover. What I wanted to do here is show you what we're going to be building from scratch and detail all of the different parts of it. So we have this app called Catch of the Day, and what that is is it allows us to manage the inventory in the order of a seafood market. And the problem with the seafood market is that the price and the quantity and the availability of everything can change at any given moment. And as people are shopping, that data should be immediately updated. We shouldn't have to wait for a page reload. So what I have here is I've got one of the store's inventory open right here. And I've got a listing on the left-hand side here of all of the different fishes that we can have. And you can go ahead and add one of these fishes to your order. And when you go ahead and add a secondary, you see the little cha-ching pop up there. You can go ahead and add a, a third one. You can go on the side here and change Pacific Halibut to Atlantic and it'll change it right here as well as up here. And what's happening right here is that every time I'm editing my content, it's going to be updating on my Firebase as well as syncing with our React state and updating. Same goes for price. If I go ahead and change the price on this, we're going to see it updating right here and where we display the price, the amount that we have in our cart, as well as our order total. We can go ahead and change the description as well as if I go to maybe like King Crab, right here, I can change it from fresh to sold out. And as soon as that's sold out, it will display a message to the user that, sorry, you can't get that one any longer. So what we've got going behind the hood here is that we've got a React state, we've got props passing data, we've got a whole bunch of different components that are sort of working together. We've got React animations and we've got Firebase as a database on the back end. So that's what we're gonna be building in this application. It will cover sort of re the really good fundamentals up to building a bit of a more advanced React application. If you've got any questions, please let me know and check out reactforbeginners.com.